He ain't dead. My baby ain't dead. No. What it was? Did you? Did you it just go? It is accordingly therefore ordered that Isaiah Richards, the minor, that's me, shall be to all legal intents and purposes the child of Charles and Margaret Lewin. You gave your child up for adoption. Now you want him back. No, I never gave my child up for no adoption. It's going to be tough. Family is with us, white. Treated him well. They'll fight this. But I'm his mother. Well, I'm sure that white woman feels fairly strongly that she is. She's going to challenge the adoption. <laughs> Where did she come from? We're talking about a woman who is a junkie. Someone who should be arrested, not given back her parental rights. Well, that's what you will have to prove. How long have you been clean, Ms. Richard? <laughs> Two years and one month. How can they think about giving him back to her? I mean, she's not a mother. Well, what made you stop? I wanted to hear my baby. I didn't want no drugs taking me out of my head. What if we lose him? I couldn't bear to lose him. Oh, no, what if we do? Black babies belong with black mothers. No, no, no. Look at my face. I'm his mother. If you think you're just gonna walk up in this court and take my baby like you take some puppy from a pound, you got another thing coming, lady. No matter what happens, I want you to know that we're always together. I'm doing this because I love him. Really, really love him. I love him, too. What is going to happen to the spirit of this little boy? So only you can save him. You're the great white hope. No. But I am his mother. Are you? The reason I haven't really watched it is because by the time I got old enough to watch a rated R movie, I had done so much other work and I had already like developed this habit of not watching my own work. And and I know I know certain I just say like, how can't you watch your own work? You're supposed to be able to watch your own work. You gotta find it entertaining. But for me, I love the craft. So when I watch my old work, it makes me, I don't look at it and try to enjoy it. I, I watch it and I kind of see what I could have done different or different choices I could have made. And I'm like processing my work. And that's just a scary place to be because you should already have grown from the time you did that project. And sometimes, you know, because we shoot and then a movie comes out a year or two later. So it's like in that two years, you haven't grown to a certain point. And then sometimes when you watch a project and you see the mistakes you made, you get stuck in this place of trying to compensate for that in your next role. And you can't do that because it's a completely different person with a completely different experience. So the way that they show up should be completely different from the last. So I just, I've, I've been big on that throughout my career. And uh, it has surprised people how many movies of mine I've never seen. And the reason I've been asking like, clips of it because it's in my it was in my reel when I was younger or you know people tag me and stuff online but yeah through and through I yeah haven't watched it um and then part two an uh, actor that I want to work with I want to work with Samuel Jackson again uh Sam is dope I had wanted to work with Chadwick Boseman also before he passed uh and Will Farrell I love to work with Will Farrell Oh, and Ryan Reynolds. Can't leave out Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a couple. It's a couple. My list will be surprising to a lot of people. Nice. Thank you, Marquita, for your question. Uh